you're gonna have to excuse my bashfulness. It's his like my first time vlogging for a while and I was on threads and I saw someone um put up ideas for vlogtober and I was like oh, wait it's early enough to start like I can start it hasn't passed or anything like that but today is Tuesday September 24th I'm getting a head start so I'm not scrambling like the first day of October to get content out because for me I like my content to look just so and have everything look nice for you guys I don't just want to slap up anything I want to be intentional with what I put out so I'm still not sure like how I want it to go I'll do it weekly or every day but I think since I'm starting early enough I'm going to try every day so let's see I'm very excited um I will also want to do it because it's going to be a fun October for us um but yeah I'm rambling on I haven't introduced myself but hello everyone my name is Lauren Lauren Amanda thank you so much for clicking on this video uh, I'm 29 years old I live in Atlanta Georgia with my two sisters and my brother we have a ball here um I have the kettle on <laughs> um but yeah I'm a full-time nanny and makeup artist and this is what I'd love to do for fun. This is my creative expression. So yeah, if you'd like to follow along with us in our adventures this fall, please hit that subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot of fun. This this month I have a solo trip planned. I'm, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much fun. And just a lot of fall events. Um, we lead worship at church and um, we're gonna have a lot of events with that. And you know, we're always going out to eat, trying a new place in the city, and yeah, so things like that. <laughs> On the agenda today, um, I have to finish getting ready for work. Um, I have to be at work at 1.30, but I want to go to this park in Atlanta. I haven't been there in like two years, I think, but the last time I went, it was very pretty. Um, um, it's not even in Atlanta, you know, it's in Roswell. Um, but it's very pretty. I hope I can get there, but I already know what I want to wear. And, um, but yeah, I had to hurry up, make some tea, and put on a little bit of makeup um, before we head out there. So it's 11, it's 1037. I want to get out the door by, by 1130. So hopefully I can do that. So let's make this cup of tea. saw my vanity it's bad <laughs> stuff everywhere stuff that I'm not even gonna be using today so I should put some stuff see two foundations what I'm doing with two foundations but um yeah I don't get any natural lighting down here but um you know people won't be able to hear me when I'm doing stuff and can watch TV late and I get usually get in late from work so I'm not disturbing anybody so that's the plus size of my room and the downside what am I doing it what am I gonna use today oh this combo I'm gonna use this combo today I love Danessa Myrick's products even though I only have used about like three or four but I need to get more I need to get the concealer and everything like that but this is my second tube of this blurring bomb. 
Ooh, I hate people. But again, I'm, I have oily skin and this helps my makeup last much longer. And then especially if I set this product too, ooh, I'll look good all day without touching up. And with um, my baby that I nanny, I don't really have time to touch up or anything. I just, I just do this for me because I want to, you know, look presentable throughout the day. Um, so yeah, because you never know who you're going to meet. And, um, and for my makeup business, like, I feel like my face is like, uh, um, calling card or it's like a business card, you know? So if my makeup looks nice throughout the day and I meet somebody and they like it, it's like a recommendation that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to set it today, but I think I am going to set it today since I'm going to the park. But I don't want to talk y'all ears off as I do this because I am in a rush, but I'm, I will put up the products that I use for my face today. else will stop and not use it but like I like the formula it's just this packaging is so faulty forgot to show y'all my fragrance of the day i'm gonna be wearing egyptian mugs can i not speak it's just, it's because i'm rushing okay i'm wearing egyptian musk by nimat love these things you can get them from target for like 25 bucks and then i have um black tulip so spray this and i'll be ready to go Fine. Turn left. I'm dressed for fall, but it's literally like 88 degrees out here. I just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. I'm at the park. It's, you see the falling leaves and everything. It's fall, but it's fake fall. 
it's like 80 something degrees right now so good thing i'm wearing something under this because it's gonna come off but this um jacket coat like button up it's from she and my skirt is from amazon these boots are as old as i don't know what but i don't even know where i think they're from target yeah and this purse is from uganda and this scrunchie is also from target um my earrings are from amazon as well and then i got my necklace from a shop on etsy <laughs> oh my they sweating and everything but yeah i thought this was a fun pre-fall fit um i'll be at this is a little too warm <laughs> <laughs> out here just long enough to get a little content hopefully i got something that i can make a screenshot for the thumbnail and everything but that traffic really set me back i wanted to it's so nice out here and literally i'm the only one here some people are walking on the trail which is fine, but it's a big old open field. I brought my book so I could read and all that, but I'm gonna have to come another time because the way traffic was, I'm not taking any chances with getting to work on time. So, work out, they say it'll be fun. They say, I say no, I don't work out. I just took a walk, a little walk. I thought it was gonna be a cutesy little walk. The whole like the nape of my hair sweat it out and it's a good thing i didn't like really straighten my hair i just blowed it blowed it out um god because like now i have to go back and do it again it's gonna be all curly back here and straight at the front so i think i got the shot for the thumbnail and the um what's it called the intro that I'm wanting to do for October, but I didn't have time to just sit and you know take in the nice park so um, next time I go I'm gonna have to go earlier now I'm on my way to work problem is I haven't eaten yet when I'm like in the zone and trying to like create and get out I forget to I don't make it a priority to eat which is not good but like I want to get my stuff done but like we have to go grocery shopping there isn't like a lot of yummy things at the house I could have made toast or something but did not want to but now since I was trying to get my shot like I don't want to stop before I go to work you know because I don't want to push it and be late I'll maybe order something or get something and who is smoking pot well how do people drive and smoke Ugh. anytime i get like a whiff of weed it's like a punch in the throat oh i hate it um but yeah uh, i think this is the last you're gonna see of me before i get off work but i will try to check in with y'all when i get home from work so only I can choose my joy I have to run away I have to sit and stay I want to live a life where I'm proud to say That I'm proud of the way that I've spent my days These days I just need to Three twenty-eight a.m. I'm so over today. It's not even funny. Look, I'm over it. Like I lost my sweater. That was frolicking around in today. That was my fault. So then, 
I'm on my way home, getting off a little early, excited to be um, getting off early, coasting on my way home. Guys, it gets pulled over. Pulled over, okay? My tail light is broken and um, I had trouble with my emissions test to get my car registered. So, ticket, citation, whatever. The people um, at the admissions place gave me something to be like, hey, like, this is why, like, you haven't got your um, things done yet. And they said, um, drive it for 500 miles before you, um, before you get it checked again but thank you damn <laughs> i text my family and everything and tell them because you know black woman police ah so and it's late at night it's like midnight so not that i was like speeding or anything but you know it was so funny too because i um spotted a police officer like hiding like trying to catch somebody speeding and I wasn't speeding, but you know how you, you're not expecting a, to see a police officer and then you're like, oh, there is one. Good thing I'm like acting right. And then one got me. So I guess it was like, it was looking for somebody to meet their quota. So I was somebody's quota for today. And uh, I don't know like all the rules cause like I've never gotten like a citation or anything before but he wanted me to sign something and like I was like oh am I supposed to sign something but then again I don't know all the rules and I was not about to exasperate a police officer when I don't know like the rules and rights and everything so maybe I should look into that I might just be paying a fine and getting it over with that's another thing on my plate to have to figure out. So I hope what's like a pass fish. That's like going to be the first thing on my agenda for tomorrow. Just trying to figure out what's wrong with this here car. Yeah, and I'm not trying to get a new one anytime soon. Like, are you joking? She's almost, yeah, no, uh-uh. And that was just a great way to end off the night. Not... Lord, oh my gosh, Lord help me be able to fix all this. I'm very overwhelmed. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow.